demonstration of a LED flasher circuit where the LED, in, the, in this case a yellow LED, that's here, flashes uh, during a very short time. I switch off all the lights on my workbench and you can see the ratio where that uh, LED flashes. It's a yellow LED and I want to talk more about that. About the properties of this LED. Could be a yellow LED or a green LED. This green LED, by the way, is at the moment also connected parallel to the um, uh, yellow LED. It's important to tell that all LEDs have a certain barrier voltage uh, and an ideal voltage where they work. So for instance the classical yellow LED or the green LED uh, work in a certain voltage bandwidth and that's around uh, 1.5 volts or so. When you want to know more Study it on the World Wide Web, etc., etc., or go to earlier videos where I have talked much, much more about the properties of light emitting diodes. So, for instance, this uh, white LED unit will not work here. In this case, only one LED, a yellow LED, or a green LED, or even a red LED will work, but uh, one single LED, that's also what I mean, uh, works and uh, that has to do with the properties of the light emitting diode. You see a bunch of resistors here and they are here 820 ohms. My camera flashes so it means that I have to stop, but anyway, I wanted to tell much more about this circuit. The transistors have to have a certain amplification factor. Say, that's what I uh, show here, 300 and also 300, etc, etc. And in this first setup, the uh, capacitors here play a big part in the uh, quick flashing. That's here. When these capacitors have a low value, uh, the LED will flash in a very quick way. But when you, for instance, connect here, not a uh, such a small capacitor here, uh, 120 nanofarad, but a real 10 microfarad capacitor. I'm going to do that now. The, the whole circuit changes substantially. So the flash ratio goes down very, very substantially. You can see it here. It's now, say, every second or so that the LED flashes and also the parallel green LED flashes on that same frequency. So that was more or less all to tell. My camera flashes, uh, it shows that I have to stop. Anyway, no problem. So back to the schematic, that's all I can tell. It works between 6 volts and approximately 14 volts. Thanks for watching. Very simple circuit, by the way.